Hey everybody, Michael Crump here yet again talking about all of the latest and the greatest in PlayStation 4, homebrew news, and much, much more. So about 15 hours ago, the new version of Gold Hen dropped. So this is Gold Hen version 2.1.2. So I've been covering each release of Gold Hen and trying to share a little bit of insights and information, at least that I know about the release, so hopefully it helps you out. So if you just simply want to go in to check out Gold Hen version 2.1.2, you can simply come up to this GitHub page, and then if you scroll down, you will see that in this change log, the only thing that was added here is the fixed config parser, which I'll talk a little bit about in just a moment. But again, if you just want to go ahead and download it and get started, you know, you can do your typical click right here, you can download it, and then you can extract that and you can put that on one of your ESP devices, uh, Raspberry Pis, etc. But if you want to know a little bit more, about this release, then let's go ahead and let's go over to the issue tracker and let's see what people are saying. So I believe most of this had started with this post right here, which was a PS4 Pro freeze loop after a payload injection. So this person was having some issues following the 2.1.x release, as well as obviously these 2.1.1, which I guess the X would already cover that. But it says, after loading this exploit, everything was fine. Uh, and then booting my PS4 from rest mode, the console would freeze after a few seconds. And so it kind of put them inside of this freeze loop with this error code right here. Again, they were running on PS4 firmware 9.0.0, but they also didn't have any issues when running the 2.0b2. So really what this boils down to is, is that with those Golden versions 2.1.x, it automatically creates this .ini file inside of the gold hen folder. The INI file is basically an initialization file which allows you to store things such as, did you enable the FTP? Did you enable the bin loader by default? And so on some PlayStation 4s, this file wasn't created properly and it caused parsing errors when trying to read the values out of that file. So now, for example, if you go in and maybe you manually modify or delete that file or change elements or aspects of it, then you won't get the crashes that you could have gotten before using the 2.1.x. Take this as more of a bug fix stabilization effort versus new features. Now, I believe now that we are at 2.1.2, we're now in a stable point for at least the 2.1.x version. And so I will put a link to this GitHub issue where you can go and you can check it out yourself. I'm going to go ahead and update my ESP device and give it a quick shot just to see how well it performs. So let's go over to my admin panel. Again, I am using my trusty ESP32 device and I'm going to go over to my file manager here and the older versions that is on my device I'm just going to go ahead and get rid of them so I'm going to delete the original 2.1 and then the 2.1.1 I'm also going to delete it and I've went ahead and I have extracted the 2.1.2 and again this works with all of the different versions from 5. 05 all the way to 9.00. So I'm going to go ahead and upload this 2.1.2900.bin. So we're going to go to file uploader. And so that's the one that I want. So I'm going to hit OK. And then I am going to upload that. And so if you don't want to deal with the hassle of maybe maintaining your own host, you can always take advantage of a host that others provide. So Chameleon has one that is right here that is already updated with the latest Gold Hen version 2.1.2. And you can check out this site here from your PlayStation browser.
Okay, let's go ahead and let's switch over our PlayStation 4 and let's give this a spin. Okay, back over on my PlayStation 4, if I go into my system, you can see that I actually have been running the Golden version 2.0 B2. So now I can go ahead and I can safely update to this latest version. And what I would recommend in order to start fresh would be just to go ahead and to reboot your system. And then once you reboot your system, you would go ahead and run the latest gold in, which we'll do right now. Okay, coming back from a reboot here, let's head over to our settings and we can see we are no longer jailbroken. So we're gonna go into our network. I am going to go set up internet connection back to Wi-Fi, custom, and we're going to attach to our PS4 web AP, which is again, just my ESP32 device automatic do not specify manual primary dns one and we're going to go next automatic do not use and we should be set so let's go ahead and go up to our user guide user guide and there is the esp32 server okay and now i'm going to try the gold hen 2.1.2 Okay, loading the exploit here. Okay, insert the USB drive. Okay. Remove the USB drive. And there we go. 2.1.2 has been loaded. So that was a very great first experience. I don't think know if I've ever tried a brand new release and not had any issues whatsoever. Uh, but I believe we are good there. So let's go into Gold Hen and we are going to turn on the FTP server as well as the bin loader server. We've got our package installer, just like always. We've got our about screen here, and this should list that same sort of change log. Oh, I do like that the dates have been added in here. I don't recall the dates that were added in here before. Maybe they were. Maybe I should look at an older video that I've got, but uh, 2022 0217, where it says fixed config parser and then fixed multiple injections, which is what I covered uh, again in a previous video. And here is that configuration file where it says slash data slash gold hen slash config dot any. So let's go take a quick peek at that. So let's go to our PS4 Explorer. And once we have that loaded up, we are going to head to our data folder. So let's go to data. And there is gold hen, and there is that configuration. And again, as you can see, it does state that bin loader is enabled with the one, as well as the FTP server is enabled with the one. Obviously, if these were zero, then that would mean that it is not enabled. So let's go ahead and let's try loading up a game. Okay, and there we go. It works just fine. So another great fix, especially in regards to stabilization and ironing out some of the few remaining bugs that exist that's out there. So anyways, I hope this video was somewhat helpful. I've put that now on my main device, so I will be using it. I'll be testing it. Let me know. How is it working out for you? I believe we've got a great release here. And honestly, I can't wait to see some of the things that's going to be happening in the future. With that being said, thank you so very much for watching. And I'll see you on the next one. Michael out.